So what are some signs of intimate partner abuse? This is Melinda from Hope When There Was None. It is Teachable Tuesday. So this is a tough topic. Anything revolving sexual abuse, it's really hard to dis discuss this. A lot of folks are shamed about it. They feel embarrassed, um, especially if you are so sexually humiliated. You're, you could be put in a position where you're forced to be nude, where you are forced to have sex with others. You might have to watch porn despite even not wanting to do any of these things. This person could interfere with your birth control. Perhaps there's unwanted touching or even for sex. Maybe you don't want to and this person does it anyway. That's rape. I don't know if you realize that. That is rape. So any of these unwanted intercourse, being forced to have sex with others, interfering with that birth control, unwanted touching, uh, forced nudity, that is considered sexual intimate partner abuse. And those are just a handful of things. There could be other things involved too that a person really doesn't want to do or they're forced to do or coerced into doing. They feel shame if they don't do that. Or there might be consequences if they don't. So if you can relate to any of these, if any of these um, it all strikes a chord and you need to talk about it please reach out to a professional counselor or therapist there are rape counselors too if you want to reach out to a shelter or maybe you just need to talk by all means I'm always available I'm not a counselor or a therapist or an attorney I'm just somebody that's been there I understand what these things are sadly to say and I know the embarrassment and the shame that you might be living in and suffering from and uh, just the loneliness of it all I can relate so this is Melinda for Teachable Tuesday and I'm sorry this isn't a light topic at all it's very heavy it really is um, but if you need to talk message me privately I hope you have a great rest of your day mm -hmm. stay safe